Cases also surging on the Navajo Nation. Starting tomorrow, the nation is ordering a new three-week lockdown. Leaders there worry about how the virus is spreading within their community. Our Emma Lockhart reports. The Navajo Nation, once a COVID-19 hotspot, is now battling a second wave. Just like the rest of this country, there's a fatigue happening. The nation's Department of Health reported 117 new cases and four more deaths on Sunday. Leaders now warning the virus is spreading uncontrollably. The contact tracers that we have have indicated that a lot of the uh, exposure and the cases that we have here on the Navajo Nation is due to uh, social gatherings, family gatherings. To help curb the virus, Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez is now ordering a three-week lockdown starting Monday. We're in a war and, and we have won battles and I know we can overcome this, uh, this monster. We can win this war. We just got to, you know, stay vigilant. Under the lockdown, leaders are restricting gatherings and travel. Only essential businesses like gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants will stay open. I know it's going to be hard and difficult as we go into the holiday seasons, Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, but uh, these types of um, very tough uh, public health emergency orders have worked before. Earlier this year, the virus ripped through the reservation, so far killing more than 600 people. We managed to uh, bring those numbers down and we have managed to test half of our population. Now, as the virus surges once again, President Nez says he hopes their hospital system can handle it. We are building up our capacity with the limited resources that we have. We also even uh, reactivated our alternative care sites for isolation and quarantine so that it can free up some uh, emergency beds. In Phoenix, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.